Hello? Tonight on Detective Matt, I decided it's time to use Randonautica. Let's go. Yeah, so Randonautica. Guys, please, please, please watch my last videos to fully understand how I do Randonautica. I try to be as serious as possible, but try to have fun at the same time. You know, I think Randonautica is real when it comes to having your intent. It will try to bring you somewhere like it. Anything that makes you interact with the real world can be dangerous. As you know, you're not paying attention so much or you don't know where it's leading you. So you guys got to be careful, especially Randonautica it brings you to places where literally no one has been. This time I'm randonauting with your guys' intents, just like I did with my previous video a while back. This person recommended missing person belonging, haunted, and haunted item. I already did haunted a while back, probably my first video doing randonautica. I haven't done specifically haunted item, which sounds pretty cool. So we're gonna try those two out, haunted item and missing persons belonging. Also, I'm using my phone as a flashlight, so I can't really show you guys the map um, where I'm going with the haunted location looks like because I need to use my flashlight. So, sorry about that. Dang, look how creepy this road is. I'm in the middle of the woods. The reason why I get the woods so much, guys, is because this part in Texas I'm in, there's like so many trails, so many woods. So it honestly has to bring me to places like this. I looked around in that forest for about 20 minutes only to find this. Oh, look at that. Someone like left their like engagement rings. This is a bit odd. We can look at that later at the car. Not gonna lie, I went through this forest. There's not a lot. I just get lost in some places. So I think I'm gonna head out. I couldn't find anything, guys. Let's use another intention. Maybe we'll find something else, you know? So I'm not gonna lie. Um, that first part was boring. I didn't get a lot there. I went through that forest. Even when I stopped recording, I went in and out. I walked around. I was a little bit scared because there was a random person parked at the parking lot. And I don't know, they could have broken into my car while I was exploring. But I found this. These are like some rings. These look like, I don't know, like engagement rings. Like all I know about engagement rings are from The Sims. So bear, bear with me. But these are the engagement rings. Or they could be rings for something else. I am not sure. There's two of them. And they were just on the ground. And yeah, that's it. They're just a tie to a string. I assume someone wore it like a necklace. And so this is pretty cool. Let's move on to the next one. I did a haunted item. This could be a haunted item, I'm not sure. Um, my next one's going to be missing person's belongings. So someone's going to be missing. They just left their stuff somewhere and it's supposedly I should find it. Well, I'm not gonna lie, there has been a lot of Amber Alerts saying that someone's been abducted, so that's scary. Let's see if we could find someone's missing person's stuff, you know, like their belongings. I'm gonna open up Rananautica and we'll get on the road. See, I told you guys, I'm literally at another forest trail. Like, every time, like, I don't understand. For the past few randonauts, it's been forest. And I know I told you guys um, in the last location that, like, get used to it because there's literally every corner there's a forest trail in Texas. But it's been taking me to them ever since. There's cities here, there's neighborhoods, there's random places, but it brings me here. It's very scary here, you know? Waving my car. Let's go. Shoot, the gate is left open. Someone left the keys. And some nail clippers. It's so weird. This is a lot scarier.
You guys see that thing? What is that? There's like something glowing over there. I could either go this way, guys, or I could go this way. Hmm. All right. Go this way. This is scary. Hello? Someone's singing. You guys hear it? Um, I changed my mind. Guys, someone's literally singing right now. You can still hear it. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Let me just check every sign before I go. Yeah, I'm freaked out, guys. Something normal people just don't sing in the middle of the woods. Gotta make sure I'm going the right way. What's that? <clears throat> Signs. Oh. Wait a minute, that's not normal. You guys, want to read it? That number, not my number, be careful, have fun. The other one, same thing. Oh, it's getting, I'm leaving, guys. You know, singing in the woods, that's just not normal to me. I, I don't wanna, who's just singing? Who's that comfortable just singing in the middle of nowhere? Oh, I gotta go. I left the area, I'm not dealing with that. I'm so sorry, like, no, you, no, no. <laughs> Come on guys, if you heard someone singing in the woods, you would just run too. Like, it wasn't someone chatting, you know, like, on the trail, it was someone singing. We're not at a church, you know, like, there's no reason you could be singing. It's not like it was singing and laughing. It was just one person alone, just that singular voice. That's just so odd. I don't really believe in these things, but I like to watch these things. Some people might say that's a skinwalker. I don't know. I'm just, I just gotta point that out there, you know? I'm not saying they're real. I'm just saying that's that's what happens, you know? They just lure you by singing or saying, um, saying help or, you know, something soothing so you can go towards it. I'm not that stupid. But anyways, I'm gonna talk about a few things I found there. I passed this sign multiple times. I just saw a number on it. I thought it was the number for the, you know, the trail, park, the ranger, whatever. But, and then I looked closer and then it said, not my number, be careful, have fun. It was dirtied up. This isn't like, this is like a canvas where you paint. And there was stuff on the back. I'm gonna read all of this to you. This is gonna be really cool. If it's something bad right now, it's probably going to be blurred. I'm going to call them right in front of you guys. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to do everything on camera. But it says, not my number. Be careful. Have fun. And then it says, by the way, I check every week to see if anyone takes these boards. Come back a week later. I'll put something new for you. This is so disgusting and dirty. Sorry, guys. Also... Do not take things from this blank. Just have fun. Then it's GSC. And then we have another number over there. We're gonna do that after we call this one. I'm gonna call it right in front of you guys. I, I do not care guys. I'm gonna call it in front of you because you deserve to experience what I'm gonna experience. You know, I might, I'm gonna be calling this random dude. I'm gonna be like, oh, your number was in the middle of the woods. Even when I'm in sewers and stuff like that, people like to plaster other people's numbers as a joke. It might be like some random McDonald's. I'm calling it right now. 
went straight to voicemail. Not leaving them a voicemail. Okay. I think... Ooh, that's... That's very scary. Ooh, that, that was very scary. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Still. And just hearing that... Oh, I'm, that was terrifying. Not gonna lie. I feel like these are one of those scary voicemail numbers that people make to freak out people, you know. But the fact that someone wrote it on a board and put it in the middle of the woods, that's weird. Obviously this was planted by someone, um, probably not too smart because be careful, have fun. These messages are very odd. They're probably just trying to make some sort of joke. But that was scary. It was saying zero, one, zero, blah, blah, blah. Probably, what do you call it again? Binary. That's what you call it. That's obviously binary. I'm so sorry. I'm in a random parking lot. Someone was just yelling. That was... I gotta get home, guys. I have one more to show you guys. But it says, not mine, but yours. Have fun. It has have fun, just like the last person, so I know these are similar. There's nothing written on the bag, just dirt. We're gonna call this number right now. I've seen these videos where, like, the scariest numbers you can call, and they have, like, the creepiest voicemails. I feel like th this is one of them, you know? Or two of these are one of them. And so I am expect the same thing, you know? Something weird and cryptic to freak out people like you and me. Let's give it a call. Please leave a detailed description of your dream at the tone. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't know what it was meaning by that. It said, please leave, I think it said, please leave a detailed message of your dream. It probably, it probably said something like that um, after the tone. So it wants me to say my dream. It's pretty odd. Okay, it's obviously telling me to say my dream, like a dream. I don't know if it's a specific dream they want. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell them one of my dreams. Hope that sparks something. Really hope that sparks something. Let's go. Please leave a detailed description of your dream at the tone. Um, so I actually had a lucid dream that I walked out of my house and I was trying to understand everything was pitch, pitch black. It was nighttime. The sun wouldn't go up. So I went outside one day. I thought, what if I could bring the sun up? And so I used my magical ability to just lift the sun and the sun came up. And then for some reason, I like broke a taboo and I was dying. And then someone told me that like, no, you have to stick with the moon. Don't you see the moon? And so I put the, the sun back down and then I went to the moon. And then for some reason, I was just so happy that I found the moon. Ever since that dream I had, I felt like I was connected to the moon somehow. There you go. That's my dream. Alright, that was my crazy dream, guys. Whew. I wonder what they're going to do with information like that, you know? To be honest, think about it. They're collecting people's dreams. There's probably, like, some sort of number like this on the internet, and they're just collecting so many people's thoughts and dreams. What are they going to do with that information? It's kind of creepy when you think about it. Anyways, I'm gonna go home and do more research about this. If nothing happens, this is the end of the video, but if I find more information about these numbers, we'll see where it takes us, you know? I'll see you soon. I'm back. So you guys know, we're gonna be talking about something. Something related to everything. All of my Ren and Anika videos, I'm gonna be talking about all of it right now. So last night, the numbers, the things I found, they have some crazy backstory and I just want to talk about it. 
But before I get into it, I want to address a few things that happened in my previous Randonautica videos, which I know some of you viewers are actually wanting to know about. Aha! You guys remember this? If you guys watched my previous Randonautica video, guys, you guys know what's exactly in here. We all thought it was one thing, but it's actually another thing, so don't be too scared. But I think it's time I return this. I know I returned the tape, but I didn't return this. But maybe someone's looking for this. I just gotta return it. I have to go back to that forest, maybe in another video. It's not mine. And it's so gross. Someone made this. Like, this vial is very customary. It's really cool. Maybe when I put this back, I'll show you guys the true meaning about these things. Because it is kind of weird. One more thing. Ta-da! If you guys also watched my previous Randonautica video, guys, you guys know what's in here. I tried so many times. I went to repair shops. I went to different places. I tried my own. I tried charging it, which you guys said to do. It wouldn't turn on. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. Sorry, some people are watching me. <laughs> I've tried, it won't turn on. And for you guys that are new, it's an iPhone that I found in the middle of nowhere. It's cracking. It's crazy, dude. But it's a really cool find and I maybe whatever was on it was very special, but no one will ever know, it's a mystery now. Someone said just try replacing the battery and that might work. The thing is, that costs a lot of money, and so if I were to do that, I would have to hold on that. So maybe I can do that in the next video as well. There might be some cryptic messages on here, there might be, maybe I could return it to its owner and have their battery replaced, come on. That's so generous of me, like, I replace their battery and return their phone, come on, that's really nice. But let's get to this randonaut that I did last night, it was crazy. It's this necklace I found, it looks like two engagement rings. If they're not engagement rings, please comment down below what they are. They're kind of rusted. Honestly, if I was getting engaged, I wouldn't wear this. They kind of look like trash, not gonna lie. Literally. <laughs> they look so bad. They look, they just look like two random metal rings. The finger thing is very big. So someone had to have really big fingers, like ogre size. Like, I'm not trying to say like they were big or anything. Like these are, a little too big for normal people like even it's too big for my thumb but I found some crazy things about these rings and about the forest I actually went in I did a bunch of research and I found out that this forest is haunted for many reasons too one of the reasons is that a couple hiking there actually went missing in that forest another is that a murder took place there those two things combined made this place haunted for many locals. And it's so weird because I didn't experience anything haunted. I didn't stay there for that long, so I really didn't appreciate that place as much as I should. Maybe I should go back wearing these and see if anything happens. As I said, a couple did go missing there, and guess what I have? Two engagement looking rings. My channel is Detective Matt. If I didn't explore this, it would be wrong. One last thing, and I feel like this is the craziest thing out of tonight's investigation is the numbers. The guy saying 10101, those binary numbers, it actually spells out words. I looked up in the internet, I typed it out, it says death. And yeah, that's pretty scary. And I was wondering where is this from? The ha this has to be something, this is crazy. How has no one explored this number? and apparently people have. So this is a cryptic message number and no one knows who the man is or where the number originated from. People say that it has to be some sort of joke or a cryptic prank that, you know, a lot of people do on the internet anyways. I'm gonna kind of go with that, even though it's totally scary and we don't know if the man is even safe. But to be honest, that would be a perfect prank to play on. So I think I'm gonna go by that. And lastly, the number about the dreams. As you guys remember, this number made me state one of my dreams. And I gave one of my special dreams that I don't tell a lot of people, just because it's very, very weird. But this number and whoever's collecting our dreams has been investigated over a few years now, and I'm probably late on this boat. This number reached a thousands upon thousands, maybe millions of people, and people call it and put their dreams on it and they're just collecting it all. Honestly, the board was very dirty, but it was fairly new. I would say it was made 
within the week at least. So someone is just out there putting numbers. But as it said on the board is, it said that I check if the boards are missing every week. If you take the boards, check a week later, something new would be there. It said something like that. And so I'm thinking about coming back to that place a week later to see if I could find anything about this person or anything they drop there. They are kind of constricting what time I actually go. So I could be expecting a person being there. Not to mention there was a person there last night. You guys heard that singing? No, people don't sing. Okay, if you sing in the middle of the forest, I'm so sorry, but in my town, people don't do that. But maybe I could do a lot more things. I might make this a whole series, so expect more out of these places, you know? I will be randonauting more, but just stay tuned. This is gonna get crazier and crazier. I just feel it. I just love making randonautica videos for you guys. If you want me to keep going, keep posting, making more videos, please like and subscribe and comment down below some things. I really like talking to you guys. It's pretty awesome. And you know what I always say, maybe I'll see you again, again in another detective map video. Thank <laughs> you.